Well, what we have here is a Hewlett Packard 54201A, 300 megahertz, digitizing oscilloscope. And what appears to be completely functioning condition. Uh, at the moment, I am uh, I am running a 300 megahertz signal from this Farnell uh, synthesizer <coughs> into the uh, scope. And uh, I've positioned uh, I've positioned the uh, cursors, the zero and the X cursor, so that I'm measuring the distance of time right now between one full cycle of waveform. And it's uh, telling me right now that I'm running at 3.37 uh, nanoseconds, which uh, which would be about 297 megahertz. So. Uh, Within three megahertz, it's nailed it, which is amazing for something that uh, is working on a position of cursors and a visual. Um, on top of that, I can move those cursors. I can also measure the um, measure the voltage. All right. So I now have the X at the peak, and I've got the O at the uh, crossover point for the waveform and uh, what I'm getting right now is about 360 millivolts of, uh, of signal as we can see uh, we right now have a 50 megahertz signal coming in on this uh, scope and our cursors are positioned at the beginning and at the end of one cycle and we're being told that we have 20 nanoseconds of, uh, of time uh, elapsed between those two points. That 20 nanoseconds represents 50 megahertz. We have 50 megahertz coming in off of this Farnell. So we're getting, uh, we're getting an accurate frequency uh, or time period measurement. And then uh, if we move the X cursor right now to the peak of the waveform, then we'll get a peak voltage reading, and it's telling us that we are running at 600 millivolts right now. Um, we can kick this thing up to 300 megahertz. I'm sure you're interested in seeing. All right, there we go. 300 megahertz on the Farnell. Now all I'll have to do is I'll hit the auto scale button, and we'll let the auto scale take care of the settings for us. There we go. And uh, then we'll we'll set our um, one cycle frequency points. Let's say approximately there, and we're reading right now three point three six nanoseconds. which would be 298 megahertz. So we are within 2 megahertz of uh, being perfect. Not bad. Not bad at all. And just by the manipulation of a couple of cursors, it's told me what frequency I'm working with here by giving me the period. And then if I manipulate the uh, X point again to the peak, it'll give me the peak value of that uh, now that wave, which is right now 600 and well, around 600 millivolts, varies between 598 and 613. And we're getting a 300 megahertz signal on this scope, completely readable, not a problem. So gentlemen, uh, it's a little more than I care to, uh, to try and work with on my own. I do have a full manual here, uh, and I will I will provide that with you. I'll give you a look at it in a minute.
but um, you can program a number of functions right from the uh, front panel. You have two inputs. You have uh, plus a, uh, a separate trigger input, and uh, you have the setup screen, which uh, allows you to tell it what kind of a probe you're using, how much voltage offset you, you have, what range you're on, so on. Um, display. Uh, you can display amplitude. Uh, full amplitude of this thing right now is about 900 millivolts. You can choose your channel, you can choose your trigger. Um, you can program this thing. Again, programming is, is uh, beyond what I know about with this. We do have... Uh, the unit is in good condition. It, um, it is used. And there's no you know, doubt about it. But, uh, but it's in good condition. It's in a good operating condition. A little dimple here. Not bad. And back in the unit has a uh, an output port for a printer, so you can capture and print your uh, your results. Okay, so here's my user manual. It's a rather thick thing. Uh, let's see, there is well, right offhand, I don't know. I think there's a couple of hundred pages here, at least. And along with uh, theory of operation and peripherals and uh, programming language and all that, you know, there's a number of system commands that it goes through. So you'll have some learning to do unless you're already familiar with this unit. And uh, happy bidding, huh? Thanks for listening.